Bienvenue à tous dans ce hors-série sur Jurassic Park. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes en Afrique de l'Est, dans le parc de la forêt impénétrable de Pwindi. Rappelez-vous, il y a quelques mois, nous avions suivi le début de sa construction. Vous pouvez revoir la cinématique tournée de nuit sur le coin de votre écran. À présent, le moment de la visite est venu, alors je vous laisse aller jusqu'au départ du parcours. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Don't forget to comment and like this video. You can also subscribe or join our club to support the channel. We remind you that for your safety, it's forbidden to leave the vehicle. For the well-being of the animals, the use of flash or bright lights is strongly discouraged. On your left, you can observe a herd of Triceratops and Taurosaurus. Between 68 and 66 million years ago, these two herbivorous species roamed North America. The first thing you notice about these animals is their imposing frill. For a long time, it was thought that it could serve as a defense to protect themselves from bites. that this hypothesis was unfounded. This one is much too fine to stop the bite of a predator, like the Tyrannosaurus rex. Another special feature of Taurosaurus is its jaw. It's one of the most powerful among the dinosaurs. Only the largest Tyrannosaurus, like T-Rex, had a more powerful jaw. It was able to cut and chew almost any plant, and even crush bones. We are coming to the end of the tour. I suggest you follow the visit with the tour B. Welcome to Jurassic Park. We remind you that for your safety, it's forbidden to leave. A call button located on the dashboard allows you to contact the park's control center. We are proud to introduce you to fantastic animals, which are both relics of the past and a scientific miracle. Our tour will take us through 13 territories where 30 species of dinosaurs can be observed. But you can also observe a group of Pentaceratops. Like the Triceratops, it lived in North America at the end of the Cretaceous. And like the Taurosaurus, it also has a very large frill. We 
now drive along the Metriacanthosaurus enclosure. A kind of theropod dinosaur, from the end of the European Jurassic. You can also observe Dilophosaurus in the enclosure. This small predator is one of the first species cloned by engine geneticists. Thus, 17 Dilophosaurus were bred on Isla Sorna and Isla Nublar between 1986 and 1992. Park also has an aviary, which you can see on your right. This one is home to many flying reptiles. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the Velociraptor enclosure. We remind you that for your safety, it is forbidden to use photographic flashes or to try to get off the vehicle. are very good hunters. In the Cretaceous period, their favorite prey were other raptors, protoceratops, gallimimus and even small mammals. To kill them, they first harpooned them with their two long curved back claws, then tried to finish their prey with a bite on the neck. an area where four herbivorous species cohabit. The size of the enclosures is important, and sometimes Stay tuned. We should come across some iguanodons in this area. They are very robust herbivores, and are able to stab an aggressor with their thumbs. On your right is a pack of Allosaurus, fearsome predators of the Jurassic. Compared to other theropods, the bite of the Allosaurus is not very powerful, but it uses its jaw like an axe to cause bleeding that will be fatal to its prey. small Jurassic predators. But don't be fooled by its size. This species is part of the first Tyrannosaurus. Just behind them are the Baryonics. You can 
can also observe Hararasaurus. arrived at the highest point of the park. From here, you can see the surrounding forest, which is one of the richest ecosystems in Africa. Besides our dinosaurs, we can find in this national park about 120 species of mammals, 346 species of birds and 163 species. Pseudoceratops should be visible in this area. But you might also see some Cynoceratops here. A herbivore native to the Cretaceous period and easily recognizable with its horn and curved frill. Now, we will cross the park up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering the territory of the most famous predator.
strength of its bite is phenomenal, and it is probably the most powerful of all land carnivores. The Tyrannosaurus rex is at the top of evolution. Its highly developed senses make it a perfect hunter. The power of its bite and an adapted dentition allow it to attack even armored prey like the Ankylosaurus. On your left, you can observe our herd of Parasaurolophus. These herbivores look very peaceful, but in reality they are just as dangerous as carnivores. To defend itself, the Apatosaurus can whip its tail through the air at such a high speed that it produces a supersonic boom of over 200 decibels. This sound wave alone could kill you instantly. But fortunately for us, our trainers work in complete harmony with the animals. Even if there is no such thing as zero risk, accidents are extremely rare. This also concerns the rivalry between the animals themselves. In the wild, conflicts between several individuals of the same group to avoid this kind of situation. We now arrive in the domain of Haranosaurus and Camarasaurus. Horonosaurus are ornithopods that lived in Africa during the Cretaceous period. You can also observe in this enclosure, a Camarasaurus. Sauropod, quite common at the end of the Jurassic, practice transhumans. The herds moved over very long distances to find their food. to limit conflicts between animals, but also to be able to control populations. The park only houses females. New animals are regularly introduced to the adults, but these operations are risky and require a lot of work from our trainers. Our teams work closely together to reduce the risk of conflict, illness or food intolerance. This is a difficult and complex task.
are coming to the end of our tour. Don't hesitate to click on the join button to support the channel and enjoy exclusive benefits. If you enjoyed your experience, don't forget to like and comment this video. You can also subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss the next videos. Thank you for your visit and see you soon.